these are the last days of the universe. The clouds have gone down for the evening. The sun sets low in the sky tonight. And who do we have to thank for that? I say, General Blasto. The children will look up to me as the greatest former since Tarzan. Now, here I go. Now. This is the news day. This is the news day. Thank you, General Blasto. General Blasto, when we come back, we'll be taking a short marijuana break. Our scientists are standing on the outside of the auditorium. They've got their telescopes and viewing monitors trained on this room. You, Mr. General Blasto, if I may call you that, will be taking part in an experiment with me. Thank you. I'm glad to be taking part on this show. But I've got something to say. Uh, General Blasto, we'll be back to you in a few minutes. And now, General Blasto will have five hits of marijuana in a row. Are you ready, General Blasto? Hello? I am ready. I am ready. Ready. Ha 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 Hello. Good evening, and welcome to General Blasto's great experiment. I'm sure General Blasto would have a few comments this time. Testing will begin in five minutes. General Blasto? Ah, it is a nice day outside. What really happened on the stock was really an accident. We have word today that Ronald Reagan wishes to make an apology for sending the Stark on a dangerous mission in Lebanon. Many millions of pigs and wounded cattle were seen boarding UFOs in the south. Many of their knees were broken, but with every bit of their last strength, they climbed the runway steps. Other vehicles and personnel were transferred to Lake Coast. You were among them, Mr. Skeleton, weren't you? I saw you. Yes, Mr. Skeleton, happy birthday to you, too. And now, the storm of the century. It's only a twister. Look, look at a twist. Look, there goes Bella Lagosti's house. Now, Mr. Skeleton, you shall leave so I can eat my lunch in privacy. Is that an order? Is that clear? And now, from the Grand Ballroom in New York City, it's General Blasto. The Funny Show with Ernest Boyd Nine. Welcome to the show, Ernie. I'm glad to have you here on the show. Well, thank you very much. You, you, you remember me in, in Towering Inferno, where I was swimming after the women. Well, I've got a new show coming up that doesn't have anything to do with helicopters or anything. What's that? It's called the Ernest Martin Nine Swimming Show. Why, well, teach people how to swim. Ernie, I would like 
like to see you fall off the chair into the audience. Would you do that? Yeah, I'll do it. Here I go. Ah! I'm the Hindenburg. <laughs> General Blasto, your car was stuck in the mud on Pennsylvania Avenue. It seems that even the little elves wanted to help you. But you left instructions, not for anyone to help. So, Mr. President, as we sit here and watch you holding the pistol to your head, I'm making some soup for you. I know you won't understand, Mr. Skeleton, but I was prepared for that. I can't find your teeth. God bless uh, comes the Soviets. God bless you, CIA, for all the things that you have done. Uh, excuse me, miss. Oh, this is the Surgeon General. How have you been? Well, we've got a new lineup of TV shows, talk shows, and information shows to help you in your normal life. You've been hearing rumors that Pozo the Clown was run over by a Volkswagen this morning. Well, those rumors are false. He is here today. I'm sorry, I forgot who was supposed to come out here. Um, can we see the Volkswagen, please? Why, oh, that's a very nice Volkswagen. Charlie Brown, you are born with a bag over your head. 
Yes, Shelly Brown, we were there at your funeral when you died. Linus and Lucy were not present for they were at the games. Were you at the games, Shelly Brown? Snoopy was there, and he had a kite that he flew by himself. Unfortunately, it got tangled up in the telephone wires. Here is an instant replay of that tragic event this afternoon. Yes, we remember the day the crowd stopped cheering when Snoopy tangled up into the telephone wires and was electrocuted. Well, Snoopy, better luck next time. This is Shinoblasto, and Spock is turned on the electric toaster. I wish we could hear, but Spock, will you take out the toast? We call it simple. What does the humpback whale mean to you, Admiral? I don't know. I've lost the Enterprise. I'm in the ship. General Blasto's relatives were on hand to see General Blasto march to glory. And then Eisenhower came in. This is Eisenhower. I'm back from the dead to let you know that I've got my eye on you, General Blasto. You know, General Blasto, I've been watching you for ten years, and it's time that we made a change in the world. Yes, Surgeon General. Surgeon General? No, this is Eisenhower, and I'm coming to stop you flat for getting me mixed up with the Surgeon General. No, I can no! Yes. Oh! This is General Blasto riding on the back of a hippie motorcycle. We're heading over to Rain, and now we'll pull over to talk to Uncle Sam. Hey, Uncle Sam. Hey, stop, will ya? Stop! 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 Ah! Surgeon General, and I'm out here in the wilderness looking for General Blasto. What? What's it screaming? Oh, I've got a helper, and now I'll run over and help her. Here, miss, L let me give me your arm. Nick, quit scratching me. I'm the Surgeon General. Stop it. General Blasto, help me. I'm being attacked by a woman. Help, help. This is General Blasto, and I don't believe you, Surgeon General. Well, you gotta believe me. You believed Eisenhower, didn't you? Yes, I believed Eisenhower because she is Eisenhower. Yes, it's time for General Blasto's nightmare. Brought to you by Memorex, the tape that was worth millions at one time. And now, General Blasto's nightmare. Ah, look there. Where's your bird? Over there. Do you see it? Yes, General Blasto, I see it. Is this your nightmare? Yes, Surgeon General. And you will accompany me so that I will not be afraid. Good idea, General Blasto. Let's go. It's dark, General Blasto. Help me. I've got you, Surgeon General. Just hang on to my arm. We're almost at the nightmare. I better get out my scanner. Surgeon General. Do you register anything on your scanner? Yes, there's something coming up now. Where is it? Up there. Look. Look. Look where? Look over there. 
You can hear it in the wind. Look. 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 Attention all spacecraft. General Blasto has arrived. Put your voices on maximum and make sure we get General Blasto this time. Last time he defeated us. This time we have a better plan. Get the bazooka gun ready, General. Aye, sir. We're gonna get General Blasto good this time, aren't we? Yes, we are. And now, General Blasto is going to get what he's got coming. Is he in our sights? My look, sir. Yes, General Blasto is in our sights. Should I turn on the machine gun ray? Yes. Turn it on now. Fire. Fire, sir. <laughs> Luckily, it was just a flesh wound. Yes, General Blasto. I'm dead. And me and Ike, we got a plan. What is your plan, Eisenhower? We will take the dummy sleds and bring him to the bridge. There. General Blasto, can you hear us? General Blasto, can you hear us? Sorry, sir, it's no good. We cannot raise General Blasto. Well, keep trying, goddammit. We've only got ten seconds to find him. Then the universe goes, and then you go. Yes, sir. General Blasto, if you can hear us, come and get us. We're out in the woods drinking beer. All right, Surgeon General, come on down. Here I come, General Blasto. I'm coming down the stairs. Whoops, sorry about the ashtray, Miss Echo. Almost to the bottom of the stair, 45th floor. 45th and a half floor. Someone is changing the signs. Oh. Let's get Eisenhower for being up on the ceiling. It's morning, Eisenhower. Thanks, Ike, for saying good morning. Good morning, and this, this is Ike. I'm taking off to Grandma's bakery house. Oh, we're having duck stew. I'm making some soup for Mr. Skeleton. You will drink the soup, Mr. Skeleton, and you'll go insane. Yes, of course I will. And now, we shall have some lunch. Here is your sandwich, Mr. Skeleton. And now, Charlie McCarthy will fall into the well. The death of Charlie McCarthy was brought to you by Bisquick. Now, I'm flying in the clouds, General Blasto. And this is the proclamation. Dinner time, General Blasto. We've got hot tons of hamburger and turkey for you. Come on, Eisenhower. Let's go. That's right, General Blasto. We're on a train headed to the west. Look. There's some cows. And some spider webs. I wonder what stars we'll see in Mexico. The Far East. I'm gonna kill somebody! 
No, you're not, because you're seeing things in your sleep. If I had a dime, Mr. Skeleton, if I had a dime, Edison, then I say, is he black? General Blasto, my tank is full of gas, and I'm heading down to your store. I'd like some corned beef cabbage, please. Where are the aliens? You'll die. Santa Claus was the death of all mankind. It seemed that mankind's destiny was under the Christmas tree. Ho, 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 ho. You only had 28 seconds to get out that door before the steel cross above you falls on your back. Yes, Grandpa. You were holding a candle at the top of the stairs when Charlie McCarthy whirled by in his wheelchair. No, Charlie. Charlie, you can't go that way. It's not the way to go. Sorry, Charlie, you don't have to do all that for us. We'll be sending it back to the Egyptian. I'm not dead! I'm alive in a war! 9091 And, when you live in the woods, look out for terrorists. And bands and such people that will give you a hard time. The photon torpedoes. The plastic sleds. Look out for that mighty people. Take off in our helicopters. Come and get to all of you. Yeah, I'm in my helicopter and I'm taking a leak. Yes. Hey, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and all these two. Yes, we love that show because of the sludge they gave us. They said we didn't deserve it to have our own game show. I proved them wrong on the gambit. Starring in many solid roles in the gambit. No, not my skull.
Tobacco papers at Masaisley are uneven this year, according to Reuters News Agency. Imagine it. with a ribbon tied around the waist. The Phantom, and he's going to New Jersey. Yes, the Phantom's got his bags packed and he's headed to New Jersey. Buy a ticket at the circus station. I don't want to see your face, because you're the Phantom. Anyway, push down the stairs. I'd like to sit on this train, too. Mr. Skeleton, why are you scratching your arm like that? What? Well, now you're playing with your phones. Mr. Skeleton, this is a public place. Got to. And who's playing that plastic music? Ah! Not again. Oh, shit. It's the Skeleton Show with Grandpa. And this is Grandpa from Walden. Welcome to my show, Mr. Skeleton. I'm Will Gear. Remember me? I remember. Only a man standing over my crypt on Saturday evening. I'm in the hospital. If, if you'd like to send some flowers, send it to this address. The death of Eisenhower, P.O. Box 7000, Warcheck, New Jersey. Alien beings, being the alien who they are. Look out to aliens! We are the Indians! We are the Indians! Do you have any the boys in the Pentagon building. 
I'm, 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 I quit. This is General Blasto, locked in the alien spaceship. How are the bars coming, Surgeon General? As you can see, I'm not giving any luck gain to these bars. General Blasto, what is that noise? I don't know. I'd like to find out. Hello? Aliens? They're opening the door. Look, there he is. Oh no, it's Martha Washington and her first programmable toilet. in space this afternoon. You'll be flying in a plane and you'll be saying to yourself, I know for a fact that I will die in this storm. It is not my fault. Washington had a smart noodle in his brain because he went up to hell. He chopped up a cherry tree and served cherry tree biscuits. His dad died on a slippery piece of leather. Last night when I mailed my letter to the mailbox station in Cincinnati, I was surprised to see who was inside the mailbox. Would you like to take my letter, Mr. Skeleton? I am Mr. Skeleton. I'm a CIA agent that lives up the street. Look, Mr. Skeleton is doing a high wire act. Let's tune in. Mr. Skeleton. Hey, out there, Mr. Skeleton. I agree. This is Ahoy! It was 19 years ago, in the 
God of Poseidon, that the Poseidon was to follow the guy and then the guy. This is Ike. Ride a bike. Don't swim. This is Ernest Borgnine. Swim. Swim. take to brush a man's teeth in the morning. You're wrong again, Mr. Skeleton. That is the wrong answer, and now the polybush. Johnny, you'll be hoisting that sled aboard any minute now. Just think of the elves clinging to the sled as you're pulling it aboard the ship. Watch out for those icy cold elves, and so you will be forced to break out the pistol. Yes, the pistol that Clancy gave you. You are a funeral master at Taipan, the local airport. Detentions will be loading a plane full of bananas for the south. The south and the north. north. This is Mr. Sugu. Sorry for checking in at this late time. I am bald, and I don't have any fingers. If if you don't have your cereal every day, you will not grow up to be a helmsman. Hey, you remember the 60s? We were out there popping wheelies and you slammed on the brakes and you nearly killed us, but we're here to get you. Cigarettes. Smoke them, Clancy. Do you get to smoke them? I'm snapping a towel at a chicken. Watch out, Mr. Chicken. I can snap this towel at one glance. Hey! John Wayne would have never bought a steel guitar unless he could play it. Now that makes sense, don't it? Hey, it's a western. Hey, it's a something for all of us. Yeah, let's sit and watch it. Yeah, all right. Get our guns. Yeah, mom, get some booze. Yeah, yeah, mom, hey, all right. I would like to fight in your army. Take a chance on the Wheel of Life. Yes, you and Mr. Skeleton will be spinning that wheel and spitting on the ground as you as you begin the odyssey about life. Spin the wheel, Mr. Skeleton. Spin the wheel as fast as you can. 
And if you wish, you may run on the wheel. Yes, I would be glad to. Is this a ladder? Yes, Mr. Skeleton. Please go up the ladder. I'm going. I'm up on the tree now. Shall I jump? Jump, Mr. Skeleton. Jump as high as you can. Tyrone Skeleton was a blind skeleton, but he didn't have any skin, so he just talked about the sound of his voice. Well, very good. This is Rock Face, and I'm rocking around on my boat. Those folks with those plastic guns and hats, they won't help us get those cats. <laughs>